Welcome to our online evening prayer service for this week of June 16th. It's also the week of the third Sunday after Pentecost. We begin with a call to worship. God is the still centre of all that is. Let us be still before him. God has created all that is, earth and air, wind and water. Let us worship God with joy and thanksgiving. We come to this place this evening seeking God in our own need and bringing with us the needs of our world. We come to God who has come to us in Jesus, who walks with us the road of our world's suffering. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and our fears. We come as we are because God has invited us to come. We come because God has promised never to turn us away. Amen. Let my prayer rise up as incense to you. Let my prayer rise up as incense. Let my prayer rise up as incense to you. Let my prayer rise up as incense. Let my prayer rise up as incense to you. Let my prayer rise up as incense. We continue with a prayer of praise. Creator God, from the moment your spirit hovered over the waters of this earth, we were part of vision held lovingly within your heart. From the moment you spoke and separated darkness from light, you created space where we might one day walk. From the moment your joy spilled out into green and living things, your beauty was revealed for us to taste and see. Creator God for this world, its majesty and beauty, passion and artistry, a green and pleasant place, we praise your holy name. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli the priest. At that time Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, he said, here I am. He ran to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call, lie down again. So Samuel went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call my son lie down again. Now Samuel did not know the Lord yet, and the word of the Lord had not been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of anyone who hears of it tingle. The word of the Lord. Tonight, if you were following the evening prayer lectionary, you'd realise that all the readings this week come from the first chapters of the book of Samuel. Now, Samuel was the son of a woman named Hannah. She'd been very un infertile and she prayed to God that she might have a son. Eventually, she did conceive in her old age and she promised him to the Lord. 
and she sent her son Samuel to study under the old priest Eli. Tonight, as we read about Samuel's call, it reminded me of the calls by God to Isaiah, Jeremiah, and even to Mary, the mother of Jesus. All these people demurred at first, but in the end they, along with Eli and Samuel, answered God and said, Speak, O Lord, for your servant is listening. Now, of course, Eli couldn't realise just how important his student would become in Israel's sacred history. Samuel was only a boy at the time of his call. Much later, Samuel acted on God's command and he proclaimed Saul as the first king of Israel. And I assume that that was what the Lord told Samuel that would make anyone's ears tingle. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. I am ready to answer your call. Eli the priest was old. His sight was almost failing. It was time to pass his ministry to Samuel. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. I am ready to answer your call. Our prayers tonight are adapted from something written by Joyce Rupp in her book, Out of the Ordinary. Ever renewing and energizing creator, come, stir my dormant spiritual limbs. Wake up my tired prayer and sing hope into my discouragement. Wash my dusty drab attitude with the cleansing rains of your vision. Water deeply the roots of my faith. Coax joy to sprout out of my doubts and difficulties. Warm the buds of my relationships till they bloom with healthy love. Clear out winter's debris from the garden of my soul with the wild breezes of your liberating Holy Spirit. Light-filled God, my joy and my hope, let the greening in me begin and bring it to flower and fruit. Amen. We continue with a litany of thanksgiving. For all that is beautiful and lovely, for all that is dark and mysterious, yet still lovely, for all that is green and growing in fertile places, for all that's struggling for life in dry deserts, for all that affirms and nourishes us, for all we struggle with that strengthens us. For friends and families who love us, for making us that we can love as you do, for our lives and salvation, for your love for the world. We give you thanks, blessed Trinity, creator, redeemer and comforter. We give you thanks, blessed Trinity, creator, redeemer and comforter. Amen. We complete our prayers by saying the prayer that Jesus himself taught to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Amen. As we come to close our service this evening, we say next the circling prayer by David Adams called the Chime. Circle us, Lord, keep protection near and danger afar. Circle us, Lord, keep hope within and keep doubt without. Circle us, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle us, Lord, Keep peace within, keep trouble out. 
Now in the coming hours of darkness, may there be light in our dreams. In the stillness of sleep, may there be strength in our souls. In the wakeful watches of night, may there be peace in our minds, light for new vision, strength to make sacrifice and peace for our world. On the pathways of Earth's journey this night, let there be peace. God that made us earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given, for rest the night. May thine angel gods defend us, slumber sweet thy mercy send us, Holy dreams and hopes attend us all through the night. As we leave our service tonight, may love and laughter lighten our days and warm our hearts and homes. May good and faithful friends be ours wherever we may roam. May peace and plenty bless our world with joy that long endures. And may all life's passing seasons bring the best to us and all the world. Amen. <laughs>